So the Law Academy started in 2009 and our focus really has been to try to change some of the attitudes and perceptions about the uh, legal system in our neighborhood. And so we wanted to kind of give them a, a different picture of how the system works and what some of the opportunities that there are going to be out there for uh, people who are interested in pursuing a legal career. This is Deepak Kumar and I represent the prosecution. The prosecution will today call forth two witnesses. The first one, Mr. Rob, Robert Johnson, is the eyewitness of this case who places the defendant at 11th and G Street. You know, just the fact that there was a real judge you know, some real jury members. And definitely one of the biggest things I would say is the this mock trial. Oh, I was nervous. <laughs> I was so nervous. I was excited. I was honestly, but I, I was very excited, but I was like very nervous. Breathing. <laughs> well, um, for me, it was a really good experience being part of mock trial because it gave you real world experience inside the court and outside. You know, the most gratifying thing about being involved with the Academy really is just seeing the kids, you know, luckily I get to have them for more than one year uh, in the program. And so to see them grow and to see them blossom has just been, you know, an incredible, uh, amazing, rewarding experience for me because you really do get to see the growth and you get to see kids challenge themselves and uh, give themselves the opportunity to be successful and to do things that they normally wouldn't have thought they would be able to do. The prosecution now calls Officer Wright to the stand. For me, um, prepping for mock trial took countless hours within the classroom, at home, um, writing up what I'd say, trying to remember it, and coming in here and was the part where I applied everything that I prep. And what I learned in here is they don't always give you the answers that you were expecting. Uh, I first joined the academy because I was, I've always been interested in law, like all my favorite TV shows are something similar to law, so I thought the academy would be a good place to learn more about it. One answer that we, we hear a lot, you know, there, there are a few students who are interested in, in being a lawyer based on the things that they've seen on TV. We get really a, a, divi a diverse group and um, you know, part of it is just the family atmosphere. We're seeing kids that, uh, whose brothers and sisters have been in the academy and so there's, there's good word of mouth, but just a, you know, a general interest to, to be part of something and to make the most of their high school experience. Turning attention to the fact that he has owned a gun, correct? Um, someone gave him, his grandfather gave him a gun. So he has one? Uh, he does have one. I haven't seen it in about a year. Okay. And he walked home that night, correct? Uh, yes. We've been lucky enough to kind of have a great mentor program from the beginning and what we're able to do is to pair our students with actual attorneys uh, in the local Sacramento legal community and so that gives them uh, I guess the exposure that a lot of them uh, normally normally our students wouldn't have. So we had three students who go to law school um, from McGeorge, all seniors, and they came and they were talking to us about street law and mock trial. Um, they give us pointers on how to um, direct examine somebody, how to cross examine. You guys aren't here today to see if someone, if someone was robbed because we know she was. You're not here today to say she was murdered because she was murdered. You're here to convict James Lawrence. We get to look at colleges. We're about to go on a um, trip to Southern California, and we're looking at five colleges, so I think that's a good opportunity. And we'll be going to all kinds of different colleges um, and getting tours of them to see what it's like there and how things are, are worked at a college. We do a, a really good job about uh, trying to find out where students are interested in going to college and, and then taking the opportunity to go on field trips to, to those colleges. And, you know, we've been to you know, colleges from Sac State all the way down to San Diego State and kind of everywhere in between. The verdict is non-guilty on all three counts. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> the verdict is guilty on all three counts. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> <laughs> if, even if you don't want to be a lawyer, um, it's always good to have a resume, no matter what you're doing. And uh, Law Academy helps you and assists you by getting professionals, people who are really successful within the community, and they come and uh, help you in your resumes. And not only the resumes, they also give you practice interviews. You know, um, they revise your resume, they tell you what looks best, they tell you what to take out, what to keep in. The Law Academy has really helped simply because as a high school student, you're, it's a time where you're already 
undecided on many things. For example, I wanted to be a sports agent, a doctor, and currently I want to be an investment banker and law academy. Currently, you know, it helps a lot with decision making. It's just a great opportunity, and I'm very happy that Mr. Garcia takes the time out and is with us and helps us and making all, all this possible for us. With opportunities like, like mock trial, with opportunities through the mentor programs, um, one of the things that I think our students have that a lot of regular students don't is the opportunity to uh, interact with adults, the opportunity to kind of have, have the chance to, to build confidence, to learn to speak uh, extemporaneously, to uh, really feel that confidence and, and to be able to uh, uh, think that they've done something with their high school experience beyond what they experience in the classroom.